2014 Yamaha Grizzly 450. Like I said, this is a 2014 with over a thousand miles on it. One of the greatest bikes I've ever owned. A lot of cool treats on here too. Let's start in front. It's kind of a little walk around slash, you know, parts video. Um, I got a Pro Vantage worn 3500 winch on here, synthetic cable, dual front A arm guards, very strong, much stronger than the plastic ones. Stock comes with black plastic bash guards, same with underneath. Also from the front end point of view, these are Rigid Industries dually LED lights, extremely bright in the dark. And those are the floods, not the spots, so it kind of gives you a wide variation of view, not just distance. Uh, these are the stock racks, if you guys are wondering. They are spray painted. They are spray painted light blue. Tusk off road. Um, same thing with the winch hook is also spray painted just to kind of tie in with that. Um, also seen from the front end. These are moose racing hand guards. You don't really see them a lot. Not sure why, but I've had them on a few Yamahas. I've had a 350 too. I have the same ones in black on there. Do wrap around too, which is very nice. Makes you feel much more secure and want your hands on the bars. And if you're wondering, this is a Garmin Verb Elite video camera. Kind of like a knockoff GoPro mount. It goes right on here. Um, here's what I use to control the winch. All our controls here. Limited step four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. Differential lock. Greatest feature, differential lock. Now we turn this on here. Yep, we have 1,352 miles. How many hours? I got 166 hours. I got all my trips and stuff. Um, so this red button down here does come stock with the does to come in like a package with the LED lights. So you flip that right on. And the lights do go on. Obviously you're not going to get a good view of them right now. But I will show you anyways. So you can't really see them right now. but That's that. Um, also on here, the black switch high and low are heated grips. Can't really tell the difference. They're much more meatier grips than the stock grips. But uh, they were a pain to get on with these handguards, I'll tell you that. That's that. Yeah, just a little fun thing here. This is not the stock fuel line. This is aftermarket. Just, I hate those fuel lines that go into there. It's a pain in the butt. Also on here. These are the Kenda Bear Claw Evo tires. If you ever heard of the Kenda Bear Claws, they're a great all-terrain tire. This is the step-up model. They got the sidewalls and great tread. 600 miles on these. So I swapped them out on 600 miles. There's still a decent tread on those. And these are ITP SS rims. Not sure of the exact model name. Alloy, light aluminum. Um. Same thing with the backs. Decent tread still on them, but I love this pattern. It's a great tread pattern. Okay, also got uh, some saddle bags on here. These are Moose Utility Division bags. I've had these on a bunch of machines. Really sturdy. They last for a while. 
I uh, haven't had any problems with that. Also on here are the rear A-arm guards. Very strong, like I said. That's great. That definitely saved me quite a few times. And here is the HMF Screen Type 1 Performance Pipe. Which definitely gives it a great, loud, I must say, it's pretty obnoxious sound. I'll kick her over for you guys. Grizzly 450 with lots of cool aftermarket parts and accessories on it. Thank you for watching.